What's up everybody welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in again um, if you're new here I appreciate you stopping by uh, my name is Joe and you're watching living on wheels um, for those of you that don't know this is my truck 2000 7.3 power stroke and that is kind of the main um, highlight of this channel or what most of the videos are on um, hopefully in the future we get more um, in a variety of different trucks but for now that's what's on um, no, it's been a little while since my last video. I think I'm going to be trying to get a video up every Friday for you guys. Um, it's a little bit tricky uh, with my school schedule and things going on right now, but I think it's doable. Um, so for this week, and I think for a few weeks, um, I don't know if they're going to be back to back, but I want to be putting together a series of videos of common problems with the 7.3 power stroke or common issues um, or bad designs on these trucks. Um, they're going to be short videos. I want to give you guys just some good information, um, some quick information if it's a problem, how to fix it. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be going over the CPS sensor or the cam position sensor. Um, in case you guys are wondering, no, I am not this short. Uh, for those of you, for those of you that are new here, I am actually in a wheelchair. Um, my truck's not that tall. I kind of wish it was, but it's just a slightly lifted truck. Um, all right, back to the topic. Um, I want to make this video quick. Um, we're going to be going over the CPS or the cam position sensor um, with these trucks. The cam position sensor is kind of the Achilles heel of the engine. If it goes out, the truck's done. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and a lot of people have been stranded on the side of the road um, because of this. So I'm going to show you guys kind of where it is and talk about it a little bit. All right, so here we are under the hood. Um, give you guys an idea of where it is. You have your water pump pulley right here. And then down below that, you have your crank pulley. And it, the sensor is right up, probably about the 10 or 11 o'clock position. I'm not sure. You guys will be able to see it. There's a wire loom that comes down from the top of the engine down right up to the top of the pulley and it is just up there right about in this area. So with that the cam position sensor is right there. Um, it's not too bad to change on the road um, like I said, if the sensor goes out, um, the truck will not start. Um, some symptoms of the sensor going bad um, would be a rough idle or a long crank or um, truck just not running smoothly. Um, another thing, well, I guess, those things would be if it's going bad. Um, if it is bad, uh, your truck's not going to start. Um, with the older model trucks, I believe it's 2002 and older. Um, if you're trying to crank your truck over and it's just continually cranking and cranking, um, but not starting, um, it's likely the CPS, or it's a good chance it's the CPS. One thing to check with that is if your tachometer is moving, with moving while it's cranking. Um, with the 2002 and older, your tack should be um, moving ever so slightly while you're trying to crank it over. If it's not, your CPS is most likely bad. Um, with the newer trucks, I don't think that it does that. Um, so it's a little bit harder to diagnose, uh, but that's something to be paying attention to. Ford started off with a black CPS sensor that had a little bit of a miss at idle sometimes, um, and they ended up doing a recall on it and replacing it with a gray CPS. Um, 
which was actually ended up being worse than the first one. Um, but they didn't go back to the black one. They ended up bringing out a different one that's kind of a dark gray or a purplish or bluish CPS sensor. Um, and that's kind of what we, what's most available on the market today. Um, if you can find a black one, they're in high demand and they're worth a pretty penny. Um, if you can find a black one, that's the original part number and it's for a decent price, I'd say pick it up. Um, but Motorcraft has a part number for the newest one that seems to work just fine and fix the problems. Uh, and that's another thing is on these 7.3 power strokes, uh, there's a lot of manufacturers um, that make different sensors and different parts for these trucks. And time and time again, you see people buying the cheaper um, non-Motorcraft part ended up paying for it twice because they have to replace it again. Um, on these trucks, they love motorcraft parts and they run best on them and they last the longest on them. Uh, buy once, cry once, and just buy the motorcraft part. Try to make this video short. Most of you guys, I can track the watch time on my channels and most, the average watch time for my videos is around six minutes um, on most of my videos being upwards of 15 plus minutes. Like I said, these videos are gonna be short and sweet. I'm gonna try to keep every video in this series under 10 minutes long, just to kind of give a good little bit of knowledge and some helpful insight into people looking for a 7.3 power stroke or for new owners of a 7.3 power stroke. Um, so yeah, quick videos. Thank you to all my current subscribers. If you're new here, I encourage you to subscribe so you don't miss out. We have a lot of fun stuff coming to this truck, a lot of fun stuff and cool stuff that I've already done to it. Um, it should be a very exciting year for the channel. I'm really looking forward to what's coming. Um, so don't miss out, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, have a good weekend. And if you can, get some work done on your rigs too. I'll catch you guys on the next video.